Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Stratter Day. Woo-woo! Yeah, yeah. We have a really cool Strat today. Um, a little different. It also could apply to Wacky Wednesday in some ways. <laughs> um, but I believe this is the first year they did this for Strat, so let's check it out. Oh, and also, before we start, we are always buying guitars. Um, they're still flying off the shelves, so we... We need more guitars, so if you have anything for sale, just email us at normsrareguitars at gmail.com. Okay. Huh. I heard your toe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This is a 1985 Fender, uh-oh, 12-string Stratocaster. Ooh. Yes, pretty cool, because this is the first year. Um, okay. Well, my, my birth year, I was telling you. Oh, yeah, that's right. And Jen's birth year. Yes. So, what, do you want this one now? No. Oh. She's not sure. <laughs> it's not yellow. <laughs> <laughs> the, pick, uh, the pickup covers okay. are getting kind of yellow, which is actually one of the first things I noticed about this guitar. It looks so cool. Because we had um, the reissue one. Now, these were from 1985 to about 1996. And then they reissued it in 2019, which we... Um, ended up carrying about like five or six of them um, and they made about 500 of them that round which they came in white and sunburst but this one's even earlier like I said this is the first one um, the bridge is different on this one it's a, a lot like the electric 12 the original one that came out in around 66 um, but designed in the USA but made in Japan uh, manufactured in Japan um, you got that F stamp tuner uh, the other one would have been a string through body this like I said has that um, that different kind of bridge. Rosewood neck. Um, I believe it's an alder body, but it's also got that crazy head sock. I love the way they put the 12 on there with the Roman numeral. Um, it's got 22 frets. I believe the new one that they reissued has 21 frets. Um, so you get a little bit more room on this fretboard. Um, and uh, let's take a look one more time at that back. Really nice neck. Um, definitely wide string spacing. Um, but the tone is there, um, you know, and it takes a little bit to adjust to some 12 string guitars because, you know, there's a lot more to cover with your fingers, but, um, once you get it, this thing definitely has the tone and it's so cool. I think the 12 string really works great with that five way selector because you can get those out of phase sounds and it gives you like that twangy kind of, um, it's almost like angelic sounding. Um, and also, uh, of course, I tuned it into fifths. Um, we're going to try some stuff, but I think this guitar sounds great, and it's cool that it's uh, one of the first runs. So let's take it out front and see what we can do. Let's do five songs. Woo! 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 <laughs> Times. Ah, no. <laughs> All right, we're up front with the Fender 12 string Stratocaster. This one's made in Japan, a little older than the ones we've had in the past. Um, but we're also going through a Fender Deluxe Reverb, starting off on that neck pickup. Let's see what we get.
go to the neck and metal together, see what we get. Let's go to middle, see what we get. So it's cool on fifths, you kind of can make cool riffs in different ways with single notes and then you get that kind of power chord vibe, so check it out. Now middle and bridge together.
and now you can do kind of cool Hendrix Zeppelin riffs. Um, like I said, one string, but you get that fifth feeling. So um, whether you're doing uh, like Manic Depression or something like to just ripping riffs. You can do a lot with that 12 string tuning. And 12 strings in general are just so, uh, so essential. They really are to a collection. I really learned that from working here at Norman's. And you can check out these guitars at normansdreadguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. See you soon. Bye. That was great. Cool. That was cool.